Love your shoes, Amanda. Huh? I love your shoes. Oh, do you? The Puma. Look at you. My Pumas. You're always styling. <laughs> Where are we going? What are we I doing? I felt like that I was in a... Um... Oh, you're... Uh, what am I going to do with the camera? Come on, let's go. Come on, Ace. We're going to go do a video. got to go make a living, man. Make a living. Go show these beautiful Pumas. Look, oh, he's getting excited now. Break time. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go, buddy. All right. Come on, man. Let's get out here. There you go, buddy. Look at these guys. Yep, we're back at it. There's my new boy, Matt, right there. Look at him. And there's a roof system going up. I'm going to pick it up with our new crane. Man, we are cranking. And you can see way down at the other end, we got all the houses out of here. And guess where they're going? They're going to the mountain. That's right. Here she comes. Can't do without her. What you got there, Amanda? <laughs> R2-D2. <laughs> what is it? Uh, no, C-3PO. C-P-3-O. C-3PO. Let's go. All right. Oh, nose itches. You ready to go, Ace? Come on, buddy. Let's go make history. Hey, are we taking the truck? Yeah. Yeah, let's take oh, a... Oh, here's Taco. We got Taco Tuesday. Justin, got his fill. Look at all the guys in there chowing. Hey, Justin. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, Ace is ready. James, you have your taco yet? I don't eat them tacos, Paul. Morning, James. Morning, please. Buenos dias. Gosh, Ace, you about knocked knock. Hey, Dan, he's there, ready to go. Look at that, Amanda. That's nothing but progress. Look at that wall through oh, there. Oh, I know. That looks awesome. Look my God, wow. look at these big posts and stuff like that. That keeps us trying to keep a little bit of quiet from the grove. Yeah. <sighs> That's cool. Yep. Come on. Man, it's pretty outside. Mandy, you're behind me. Yeah. You got keys? Yeah, I got my truck key. All right. Hey, can we dump that stuff out of the truck too today? What stuff? That I got the back of my truck. Are you driving or me? Uh, well, I guess me since I'm back car. Back car. Come on, Becker. Well, let me find a truck key. Man, you've you come got darn the... close to me. Well, I had to because I don't, I'm right there at the thing. Are you videoing? Oh, my God, Randy. What? You're getting a bunch of nonsense. That's wants... nonsense. It's real stuff. Man. All right, let's see. <laughs> real, it's real life. Real life. There it is. You want me driving or are you driving? Well, you can drive it. Okay. I got a video. Well, how am I going to get through there? <laughs> you got to come this way. Oh, my God. Yes. I like this. Look, what a mess. Isn't that cool? There's the grove. Look at all these. Lord help. All these homes. Oh, cool? the mud. I don't want to get my shoes dirty. All right. Let's do it. Well, I'm going to put this back here. Okay. Come here, Ace. Man, look at all that trash you got back well, there. Well, I can't help it. Um, wait a minute, Ace. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Look, I got. We're going to go do a video on the Birmingham. Look, Come on, let's mail. go. You got the truck. I got Wait a minute, I gotta get Ace. What a mess. Oh, hush. What's a mini thing? Um, come on, Ace. Come on, Ace. Come on, get up our buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, God, it's a mess. You got the <laughs> seat laying down. Look at me. I'm like I'm laying <laughs> Now, I do lay in a down. Recliner. I lay down and drive. So I've got to be completely straight up. Yeah, okay. You got to push, you got to turn the truck on. It's running. Well, no, you have to push your, push the brake and then push the, there you go. Thank God I found my sunglasses, but it ain't my prescription Didn't start. ones. Huh? Oh, it quit. Oh, there it goes. Good God. Oh, All right. Lord. Here we go. What a mess. Take the camera. All right. Well, I'm too up. You know, I was thinking. I was thinking today. What? <laughs> I like your aviators. I know. Listen, you I just never wore sunglasses. I just found them. I just found them. They were up here. Look, of all places, look, they were right there <laughs> where they're supposed to go, right? We need okay. to put a red tag here. Uh, you know well, I was there. pushing the, the light and I accidentally pushed that and I went, well, there's my glasses. What do you think, Ace? Oh, he's been ready to go for the last hour. All right, so we're going to go up and. What's wrong here? Um, we're going to go up and film. A Birmingham. Okay. Right? Okay. Let's see here. We'll back up. 
this lady here, she's scared somebody's going to run into her house. Oh, 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 that's big ding in the chair. It's going to. It's. I'm a, a slinging in a ding. Oh, please don't hit nothing. Hey, you know what? I just got the truck fixed. Well, I wanted, I had a thought. Mm hmm. Today. Who's now, hold on. Let me, let me hold, hold on. Let me check this really quick, okay? Yeah, I better get my seatbelt on, right? Oh, I didn't get mine on. Wow, look at all these houses. Oh, you don't have yours? I'll do mine. We'll just ding everybody to craziness. Yes, all these are going to the mountain. All of them. <laughs> nice. He's ready. Look at all these houses. They are ready to go. Yep, stage to the mountain. That's where we're taking them. Mm -hmm. Today and tomorrow, they'll be going to the mountain. Oh my God, that's exciting. Yeah, cleaning everything up. Super exciting. Our palm trees, don't know if they made it or not. They're turning a little brown, so they may all die. I we'll don't see. know. We're hoping for Hey, them listen, there was it. prayers for the palm trees. Prayers. So. Yep. I've been um, praying for it. I know that. Um, one of the things, I mean, you just touched on it. We have been doing a massive, massive cleanup. Do you want to touch on that? Touch. You want me to touch on it, Amanda? Yes, touch on that, please. <laughs> <laughs> touch okay. on that. Yeah. So there's a lot of staging. There's a lot of moving around of stuff. And everybody that lives here is probably seeing all of it and like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. All right. So we've showed this Birmingham several times. But we've got it decorated in a way I think you're really going to like to see. Um, the Birmingham is one of our top largest models. We have a, a, an Amanda coming out that's going to be 12 by 40. This is 10 by 34. This has got a bay window, LP siding. It's got a slate, imitated slate roof on it, which is just beautifully with all of the uh, exposed rafters. And the board and bat and the lap siding, the bay window on the front and then the tongue here. So, man, this is this is... What I took as a big home and made it a small home, not the tiny home that we're usually everybody, a lot of builders across the country are trying to build a home that, that is, gives us the most volume. And we've done that same thing. I've just tried to take now and try to take the, the carpentry end of beautiful homes and make it to where you can put it in a tiny home. Come on, let's go in. All right. The Birmingham. One of our top of the line model homes. We're in it right now. We've done a couple videos before about this, but this is an upgrade decorating feature that, man, I think you guys are going to love this. I'm going to walk through this home. Amanda's going to show you while I'm talking all the beautiful features of carpentry and how we've come about doing this. This is a design I'm proud to say that I came up with. And the reason was, it was just to bring all this different interior, exterior light to coming in, indirect light double mini splits, living room that gives you the feel of a large home. This is only 340 square feet, not including the loft, 10 by 34. Now, 10 foot is outside to outside, so it's actually less than 10 foot on the inside. This is a bay window, just sitting on here earlier. It's, it's nostalgic, isn't it, Amanda? Oh, it is. Nostalgic. I remember, mm -hmm. I remember uh, what is it, Better Homes and Gardens? Yes. And you'd read in there and you'd have all fluffy pillows years mm -hmm. ago and people sitting in a little bay window watching the snow fall or stuff. That's what this is. That's what come from me in my mind wanting to design this house. We have our Amish community build these homes. We taught the Amish how to build these homes. Right. And now they're at their farms building these and taking their beautiful time, the quality. And we have taken pictures of this is the trim, the joinery inside here, how these boards butt to each other and how the how it's been urethaned, painted. We have extra the extra walls, the, the outside walls are white and everything else is a mixture of the polyurethane contrasting with the white, the natural look. Try not to talk too much, but just explaining a little bit about the house is, you know, you got a butcher block countertop, which is real butcher block. The cooktop range hood microwave farm style sink gooseneck faucet double window in the kitchen i don't need, i don't put any upper cabinets when i do that i've never have and the only reason i do is because i don't like it coming out at me it, it would makes, really choke the area it, it really it look, would feel smaller it's too, you yeah, know make it smaller here is for a refrigerator and a stackable washer mm -hmm. and dryer i do not recommend a full-size refrigerator here that'll stick out three or four inches I recommend a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, mm -hmm. right? And then a normal size or apartment size stackable washer and dryer. You're still in a tiny home, even though it feels like a big old house. It does. Only change we'll do on our Amanda, 
I mean, the Birmingham mm -hmm. is that this will be the closet in the bathroom right here. Mm -hmm. And then this will be a pantry because this closet is super deep mm -hmm. and we made that change. Yes. Big feature in here I love is still the indirect light that follows you from the living room it into does. the bedroom. And we're probably, we're opening up now the ceiling of the shower. So when you're in the shower, that indirect light comes down into the shower. Right now we have a ceiling in this one. So we're changing it as we get it built. We look at them. We say, hey, let's tweak that a little bit. Also, one of the changes is we're putting a two-foot vanity, sink vanity in here instead of the pedestal sink. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to change that out. you got an elongated toilet. But you have this room to walk and navigate in and out of this bathroom which makes it feel big, All right? Oh, so, it's, yeah, it feels really big in here. Yeah. Across from the kitchen here, and you have the barn door, of course. Yep. Yeah, for the, for the bathroom. And Amanda wanted to point out, this is a swinging door, mm -hmm. which is cool. It's just, it makes it feel more homey with right. not a barn door. Mm -hmm. And behind that could be a, uh, a closet, mm -hmm. but we'll do the bedroom. Okay. All right. My favorite room. This is this is so pretty, and she decorated it so beautifully. It's just gorgeous. So we designed this bedroom to be deep enough, right, that you can have the bed, and where this desk is is could be an amoir, dresser, clothes, closet, anything that could be there, and also behind the door. But you can walk around the bed, too. You can physically walk around this bed, and not have any problems. You can just no walk problems. around like this. And that's why I designed this room to be comfortable bedroom. Mm -hmm. So think, you've got a comfortable living room, a comfortable bedroom with some closet space, a yeah. nice size bathroom, and in your kitchen. Now, the only downsides on the kitchen is I just don't recommend a full-size fridge. And you've got four windows, Amanda pointed out earlier, mm -hmm. that we have two over here, two over there, and they're big windows. These are three foot by four foot, and there's four of them in the bedroom. Wow. Mini splits, sconce lights, there's a mm -hmm. mini split just for the bedroom, which is an overkill, but you don't have to worry about heat or cool in here. And also, the house is built with two by four construction and closed cell polyurethane spray foam in the walls, the ceilings, the floors, everywhere. So much room. So you get a private bedroom on the main floor. That just... It's made for main floor main living. Main floor living. Now, Amanda's going to show you the loft. The staircase is quite steep, but we did it on purpose because of the, the short distance between the first step and the exterior wall. But this is under the IRC codes for tiny homes. Mm -hmm. And it's really made for guests or grandkids. And Amanda pointed out earlier that, you know, a family of four could actually live here. You got... Two Have kids up children. here. That's right. Mom and dad underneath here. And mm -hmm. it could actually work as a two bedroom home. Absolutely. I think it's beautiful decorated. I love it. She did such a great job. You it know, there's things, Mandy, you know, if you wanted to, you could actually put some sort of curtain across here for mm -hmm. the kids or a guest. Have some type you of know, privacy on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. We just don't do that because I think it's something, even though this home is 100% completely finished, beautifully mm -hmm. done, there's still room for your what personal touches in absolutely here, you know yeah so there you have it everybody we've got beautiful kitchens here's our you know there's our dovetail joinery mm -hmm. it's our you know soft close drawers i love this house hundred and five thousand dollars and this thing is ready to go our amish build these we train them to build them they love what we do you guys were probably about 90 to 120 days out, so it's really not that bad. If you order one mm -hmm. today, you could actually have a house in four to five months. And we encourage you, if, compare prices for what we build, for yeah. you can get it built somewhere else, compare the prices. Yep, compare. You know, there are a lot of builders out there, and the reason I wanted to take this on is I wanted it to compare to some of the very mm -hmm. high-end homes that yeah. are being built yes. by tiny home builders all across mm -hmm. the country. Great builders. I'm talking some of the be most beautiful homes I think I've ever seen are from tiny home builders. The quality is almost, it's really equal. It's almost like a, yeah. a, a you know, the biggest thing is the difference is the price. Yeah. I, now, I've downsized on the cabinetry in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to include a bunch of cabinetry. Mm -hmm. The floor plan, we could have mimicked a lot of the great big builders that are in tiny homes. Mm -hmm. But 
the one issue that I've always seen in these are the bedroom and living room mm -hmm. are not giving enough space. Right. Now, because of that, maybe we've slacked off on the kitchen area, but you have to give somewhere, right? So this, the bonuses to me are the living room, mm -hmm. the bathroom, and the bedroom. Great size, navigate it really well. Right. Kitchen, if this is, if this, you want a bigger kitchen, you might want to look at a different model than this one, but it is ample enough to, to eat, cook, refrigerator, full-size fridge. Pass I mean, by each other, entertain, yeah, everything. Yeah, and your stackable wash and dryer. So, right. There you because have it. it still is a tiny home. Yes. it's. Yep. It, you know what? It is. Mm -hmm. It is a tiny home. So it's not made to be 2,000 square foot. Right. And to have all these large appliances. So, mm -hmm. hey, everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, go to our YouTube channel, what you are watching this. <laughs> and go to our website, mm -hmm. incredibletinyhomes.com. Give us a call, Amanda. 423-438-0111 mm -hmm. and give us a call. We'd love to show you this home. Come by and see us here in uh, 850 Industrial Road, Newport, Tennessee. Absolutely. See ya.